the architecture of Oracle. What do we mean by the architecture of Oracle? By architecture, we mean the way that Oracle is built, the pieces by which it is constructed in terms of its physical architecture, the physical pieces on your machine that it consists of, both in a shutdown and a running state. What are these pieces? This leads us to what is an Oracle database. An Oracle database is made up of a number of pieces. These things are namely buffers, processes, files, and network communication. Let's go back a bit. What do we mean by buffers? In computer jargon, buffers is basically the use of memory or random access and virtual memory on a database server. A buffer is a sectioned off piece of memory which is used for a particular purpose. Processes are the things that run on your Oracle database server which keep your database running. For instance, the database writer process, the process which takes the information that is changed in a buffer, a database change buffer, and writes it to the disk. There are many other processes. The files. The files are the data files which make up the database where the actual data is stored on the disk. The network communications are Oracle Net Service, Oracle networking software. The memory layer. The memory layer is the buffers. The memory layer is commonly called the SGA or shared global area. Within the shared global area there are database buffers, read log buffers, a sort buffer, and the shared pool. The database buffer contains the in-memory portion of the database files or the actual data. The read log buffer contains a record of changes to the database buffers and the database files. After a period of time or other various parameters such as the amount of information changed, the redo log buffer will be written to a redo log file on the disk. Additionally, redo log files can be written to archive logs, which is a history of redo log files. The sort buffer is an area of memory reserved for sorting in memory. The shared pool is made up of pre-passed SQL and PLSQL code. By pre-passed, we mean that the code has had its optimization plan stored in memory. The shared pool also includes latches and locks. Latches and locks are the way by which the multi-user capability of the Oracle database is controlled. The shared pool will also contain the metadata, which is the data dictionary or the data about the data. The process layer. The process layer more or less sits on top of the memory layer. The process layer are the processes which communicate, for instance, between the buffers and the database files. The database writer communicates between the database buffers and the data files. The log writer communicates between the redo log buffer and the redo log files. The archiver writes from redo log files to archive files. There are many other processes such as PMON and SMON. The processes SQL and PLSQL, we don't need to go any further. The Oracle instance. The Oracle instance is a term used to describe the part of an Oracle database which exists in memory when an Oracle database is running, namely the memory layer, the shared global area, and the process layer. In other words, the Oracle instance is made up of all the memory buffers plus the processes. This is what causes the Oracle database to actually run.